Salakia. All right, let me read that again. John 14 and 12. Verily, verily, I say unto you, he that believeth on me, the works that I do, shall he do also. And greater works than these shall he do, because I go unto my Father. All right? Yahweh Shai went unto the Father. All right, Yahweh, which proves that Yahweh and Yahweh Shai are two separate entities, man. Following after the same order of righteousness, all right, which the order of righteousness is the order of Yahweh, you know. But Yahweh Shai and the prophets follow after that order. You see? It says, And whosoever ye shall ask, and whatsoever ye shall ask in my name, that will I do, that the, that the Father may be glorified in the Son. If ye shall ask anything in my name, I will do it. If you love me, keep my commandments. All right? So, first and foremost, what is the name of the Most High? What is the name of the Father? You know? These are things that Israel has to know in order to be saved, man. You know, these are things that we have to know. And the elect will know. You know? Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai will always keep his elect. This is a uh, second Esdras, or first Ezra Salakia. This is 1 Ezra 4, and I'm just going to read the whole thing. It says, a man leaveth, verse 20, 1 Ezra 4 and 20. A man leaveth his own father that brought him up in his own country and cleaveth unto his wife. He sticks not to spend his life with his wife and remembereth neither father nor mother nor country. All right. So, you know, the brothers made a, a videos recently about, you know, salvation, which does pertain unto Israel. All right. But in that salvation, do all women have to be married in order to be saved? All right. Which the answer is no. Eventually, all right, in the kingdom of heaven, they do have to be married and they're going to be married unto a righteous man. All right. And they're going to righteously bring forth righteous children. All right, there's not going to be any, you know, baby daddies and baby mamas and, and any of that nature, man. All right, one man is going to have multiple women, all right, in the kingdom of heaven, you see? And one woman is going to have only one husband, all right? And they're going to bring forth a righteous seed, the seed of Israel, you see? 12,000 out of each tribe. Those are the elect men, all right? So it says, verse 22, uh, Salakia, continuing on that, all right? Women can be saved, you know? They don't have to have a husband. You see, they can be saved by their own righteousness, all right? I brought out the, the, uh, the thing that happened to Susana, all right? Was Susana saved by her husband? Did her husband barge in and say, hey, 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 hold up, hold up, hold up. This woman is a righteous woman. No. All right. She was saved by the will of Yahweh, Yahweh, the Most High. All right. So as Susanna was praying to Yahweh, all right, as she was praying to the Most High, all right, your will be done. You know, if I'm put to death like this and that's what it's going to be, she was a righteous woman that kept only to herself and to her husband. All right. What did the Most High do? What did the Most High do? He put his spirit on Daniel the prophet. All right. And then, and then Daniel, through his wisdom and through the wisdom of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai, Salakia, through the spirit and power of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai, Daniel delivered Susanna. All right. Why? Because he put down those two wicked Pharisees and wicked scribes, all right, wicked Pharisees, 
all right, separated them, and then told them the story that they had to tell. And they come to find out that the, the, uh, those supposed righteous men were actual liars, man. You know, they were wicked. Why? Because they didn't keep the law, statutes, of, and commandments of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. You know, they were lusting after that woman. You see? You know, so if you're meant to be with a man of the Lord, all right, then you're going to find that man. You know, but if you're meant to be with a man of the Lord after the salvation, then that's what Yahweh's going to do. You know, that's what he's going to do. So, uh, first Ezra's four and verse 22 by this also ye must know that women have dominion over you. Do ye not labor and toil and give the to give and bring all to the woman? All right, and that's one of the curses that happen in this earth, man. You know, serving a woman. Which, no matter how much you want to, you know, stand up against it and try to come up against it, you know, that's the way the Most High uh, ordained it, man. You know? as a curse because that ain't a blessing serving a woman that ain't a blessing a woman's supposed to serve you all right and you can only get that to a certain degree all right you can only get it to a certain degree you know because this place is upside down man this place is wicked and pretty soon the most high is gonna set one that is profitable all right like uh the book the book of uh uh, Sirach chapter 10 says, all right, he's going to set up one that is profitable to inherit the kingdom, you know, which is Yahweh Shai and the elect. So it says, verse 24, and look at uh, verse 23, Salakia. Yea, a man taketh his sword and goeth his way to rob and to steal, to sail upon the sea and upon rivers and looketh upon a lion and goeth in darkness and when he hath stolen spoiled and robbed he bringeth it to his love all right he bringeth it to his love all right so he's saying that that women are strong man you know the strength of women is 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 big And that's why you have that vibration going out here in Babylon, you know? Because the Most High ordained it that way, man. For destruction, all right? It ain't for salvation. The way that it was ordained by Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai for women to be on top, all right? Who run the world? Girls, like that stupid ass song that Beyonce made, all right? That's left handed energy by the Most High, you know? It says, Verse 25, And wherefore a man loveth his wife better than father and mother? Yea, many there be that have run out of their wits for women and become servants for their sakes. All right? And that's what you call a simpleton, man. Being simple, you know? Wanting to please a woman so much that you become her servant. And that ain't righteous, man. You know? So it says, verse 27, many also have perished, have erred, and sinned for women. All right? Are we not in the predicament that we're in? Because from the very beginning, all right, Adam sinned because of a woman, you know? And that was the curse that was put upon him. It says, verse 28. And now do ye not believe me? Is not the king great in power? Do not all religions or regions like it. Do not all regions fear to touch him. Yet that I see him and Apame, the king's concubine, the daughter of the admirable Bardicus, sitting at the right hand of the king and taking the crown from the king's head and setting it upon her own head. She also struck the king with her left hand. 
And yet for all this, the king gaped and gazed upon her with open mouth. All right. So even with the wickedness, all right, because that's a wicked thing, man. All right. For a woman to place the crown upon her own head and even to strike a man. All right. Or to usurp authority over a man, especially a holy man. All right. A preacher, a teacher of this truth. You know, that's a wicked thing. You know, this world is out of order, man. It says, uh, verse 31, continuing, it says, If she laughed upon him, he laughed also. But if she took any displeasure at him, the king was fain to flatter that she might be reconciled him uh, to him again. All right, so every time she was happy, all right, he was happy. All right, that's why they have that stupid ass saying in the world, a happy wife is a happy life. All right, because you know, you, you fucking damn devils, man. You know, you simp over a woman. And many have erred, you know. It says, verse 32, oh, ye men, how can it be? But women should be strong, seeing they do thus. All right. So yeah, women are strong, you know, not in a physical sense, all right, but in a sense that they can make you do a bunch of shit, all right, even without you wanting to, man. You jump in joy to serve a woman, but you won't jump in joy to serve you. How about Shem Yahushua, man? You know, this place is ass backwards, man. You know. This place is backwards, you know, because we are the 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 uh, the wife of Yahweh. All right, Yahweh, Yahweh Shai. Yahweh Shai is the groom, you know. We're the bridegroom, so we should be pleasing Yahweh Shai. And there you have our people trying to have. Well, you know, if God, if God is true, if God is real, then He's gonna come down here and present Himself. It's not about you, man. It's about him. You know? We're supposed to be pleasing him, not the other way around. It says, verse, uh, verse 34, O ye men, are not women strong? Great is the earth, high is the heaven, swift is the sun in his course, for he compasseth the heavens round about and fetching his course again to his own place in one day is he not great that maketh these things therefore great is the truth and stronger than all things all right so no matter how hard you try to fight against this truth the truth is coming out regardless all right whether you be one of the two-thirds or esau edom all right no matter how much you try to stand up against the brothers, stand up against this truth, stand up against Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai, it's going to come out regardless, man. You know? Fight, up, fight it all you want. It's going to come out regardless. It says, 1 Ezra chapter 4 and verse 35, verse 36, All the earth calleth upon the truth, and the heaven blessed it. All works shake and tremble at it, and with it, no is no unrighteous thing. All right, so with this truth, there's no unrighteous thing, man. So, if we talk about a man can have many women, that is not an unrighteous thing. That's gonna be that's gonna bring a whole entire nation, all right, back into subjection to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, man. Do the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, you know. If we talk about destruction, that is no unrighteous thing. It's a dark saying, yes, all right? But it's written in scripture that it's gonna happen, you know? It says, verse 37, wine is wicked, the king is wicked, women are wicked. All the children of men are wicked, and such are all they all their wicked works and there is no truth in them 
in their unrighteousness also shall they perish. As for the truth, it endureth and is always strong. It liveth and conquereth forevermore. With her there is no accepting of persons or rewards, but she doeth the things that are just and refraineth from all unjust and wicked thing. And all men do well like of her works. All right. All men do well in the like of her works. So if you're following after Yahweh Bashim Yahushai, all right, and you're making videos, you're studying, you're reading, you're increasing in wisdom and knowledge and understanding, you're going out to the highways and the byways, you're praying for the brothers, you're praying for yourself, you're praying for Yahweh Bashim Yahushai to come back and destroy this place, all right, there is no unrighteous thing that is, uh, uh, comes with that, all right? Verse 40, neither in her judgment is any unrighteousness, you see? So when you see the death of a newborn, when you see the death of a woman, a death of a man, all right, when you see somebody get hurt, you're not supposed to rejoice either, all right? At an enemy, you know? But that's right. That's righteous judgment by the Most High, man. You know, because the Most High controls everything, man. The wind, the sky, the elements. All right, the people, even the vehicles that you made yourselves. All right, even your own creations. The Most High has control over it, man. He has control over everything. All right, that's what omnipotent means. All right all powerful you know but he's not all loving you see he's not all loving because if he was all loving all right then what happened to the egyptians why were the egyptians destroyed by the most high if he's all loving you see the assyrians why did this why did they destroy the babylonians if he was all loving the greeks why did they destroy the Assyrians if he was all loving? You know? Come on, man. It says, Neither is her judgment, uh, neither in her judgment is any unrighteousness, and she is the strength, the kingdom, power, and majesty of all ages. Blessed be Yahweh, the God of truth. And with that he held his peace, and all the people then shouted and said, Great is truth, and mighty above all things. All right? Great is truth, and mighty above all things, man. You know? So we're here to fulfill the words of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. You see? We're here to preach this gospel, which gospel doesn't mean uh, uh, hear good music, all right? Which gospel doesn't mean pleasant things to hear. Gospel doesn't mean an unweighed balance. Gospel doesn't mean we're all gonna be perfectly safe, peace, peace, all right? This gospel is the good news. The good news to who? To the poor, all right? To the ones that are in need of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai, to the needy of righteousness. That's who these, this gospel is being preached to. So, Revelations 13, and I'm going to start off at verse 1, all right? Because, like I read in, in Matthew, all right, what's righteous, what's unrighteous, all right? The un, the, the, dirt, the destruction of the earth, I'll come back to that. <clears throat> this is Revelations chapter 18 and verse four. It says, and I heard another voice from heaven saying, come out of her, my people, 
that ye be not partakers of her sins, that ye, re that ye receive not of her plagues, for her sins have reached unto the heavens, and the Most High hath remembered her iniquities. Reward her even as she rewarded you, and double unto her according to her works. In the cup which she hath filled, fill to her double. All right? And that's talking about destruction. So now going to Revelations chapter 13 and verse 1. And I stood upon the sand of the sea. All right? So like it. 